Hi everyone, it's Gus from Pi My Life Up, and today I will be looking at how to set up your very own Raspberry Pi Git server. If you're a programmer, then it's very likely that you've used or at least heard of Git before. For those who haven't heard of Git, it is a hugely popular version control software and is typically used in software development. It can handle both large and small projects. There are plenty of hosted Git solutions out there, but there may be one or two reasons why you're after your private git server. The process of installing the git software is pretty straightforward. If you're not familiar with git and its commands then I highly recommend that you take the time to learn them. I will go into a few basics further on in the video and also point out a few good places to learn more about git. So to begin, let's make sure the Pi is up to date. So simply run sudo apt-get update and once that is done, sudo apt get upgrade. Firstly make sure git is installed. It should already be installed, but just to be safe, run the following command. sudo apt get install git dash core. Secondly, you will need to have SSH enabled. If you haven't done this, then you can find out how to do this in my SSH tutorial. Now you may want to store your Git repositories on a USB drive. If you want to do this, then you're probably going to need to mount the USB drive. If you don't know how to do this, then be sure to check out my video on mounting a USB drive. Now this is all you need to do to have your Git server up and running. It is really that easy. The next part will go into creating your first repository and how to push updates to it. So now let's make the first repository so that we can start pushing data to it. Firstly, we need to make a directory for where our new repository will be stored. The dash p tag in the following command will create any directories in our path that doesn't already exist. So run the following command, mkdir dash p slash home slash pi slash git slash my first repository. Now if you're going to store this on a USB drive instead, the directory path will be different. So now let's move into our new directory by using the cd command. cd slash home slash pi slash git my first repository. Now let's initialize the git repository and use the bare command as well. To do this, write git init dash dash bear. You'll need to repeat these steps whenever you go to make a new repository. So now we're ready to do our first commit. On a Windows or Mac computer you will need to download git to be able to start pushing code to our repository. In a browser head over to http git scmcom Download the version relevant to your operating system, in my case it is Windows. Once downloaded, open it up and begin the install process. I typically stay with all the defaults. Once you have installed it, you should have extra options when you right click in a folder. In the folder you wish to commit, right click and go to git bash. If this is not already a git directory, then you'll need to initialize it before we can push code to our Pi. To do this, enter the following command, git init. Now we need to add our remote git directory. You can do this by entering the following git remote add my first repository pi at 192.168.1.108 semicolon slash home slash pi slash git slash my first repository. In this command you may need to update a few things such as the IP and the name of the repository. Now we can easily push data to our repository. To do this, enter the following commands, git add dot, now git commit dash m, double quotes, my first commit, double quotes, and then finally git push my first repository master. It should now come up with a success message. This means our code has been pushed to our git server successfully. To just test to see if everything is working correctly, I'm going to make a new folder and now open git bash up in this folder and I will now clone the repository to our new folder. To do this, enter git clone pi at 192.168.1.108 semicolon forward slash home forward slash pi forward slash git forward slash my first repository. 
as you see the Raspberry Pi Git server is storing our code correctly. Now this is the very basics of Git and there is much more to learn. I have come across a couple of websites that have been incredibly helpful with learning more about Git and how it works. If you're looking at getting into programming then it is important that you do learn about code version control systems. If you want to learn more on Git, Code Academy has some fantastic tutorials that you can check out. Just head over to their website over at www.codeacademy.com slash learn slash learn dash git. Also git dash scm has plenty of great documentation on many different commands you can use. You can find this over at git dash scm.com slash docs. Now you may want to access your Git repositories outside your local network. To do this, you'll need to set up port forwarding on your router. If you do decide to do this, it is essential that you update your Pi's user password to something that is a lot stronger. If you want to set up external access, then check out my guide on port forwarding with Raspberry Pi. You'll need to port forward the SSH port 22 to gain access outside your local network. I hope now that you have a fully working Raspberry Pi Git server. If you come across any problems, I have missed something or anything else, then be sure to drop a comment below or over at PyMyLifeUp.com. Until next time, have a good one. Looking for more Pi projects to do? Check out these 21 awesome Pi projects that anyone can do. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest projects, guides and much more.